The term Renaissance is a French word that means rebirth. It refers to a period in our history when scholars rediscovered the value of the individual by studying the ideals and artistic expressions of ancient Latin and Greek authors. This movement was called humanism. Humanism is another one of these abstractions, like the term Renaissance. It means many things. But as understood in the Renaissance, studia humanitatis, the study of, of human things, the study of the culture produced by humans. That's simply what it means in its simplest terms. Something that's often assumed about the Renaissance is that this necessarily had to have been a time of peace or of general happiness. Thomas Arnold, assistant professor of history, Yale University. Why else, for example, could someone like, say, Michelangelo have uh, the free time and the incentive to carve a David if it uh, wasn't a happy age? But the truth, more accurately, is that troubling times, trying times, inspire individual human beings to reevaluate and re-understand and to create anew. And uh, this is true of the Renaissance. To appreciate the importance of humanism to the Renaissance, we first need to look at the thousand years that preceded it. This was a time thought of as a period of cultural darkness, known as the Middle Ages. A period dominated by Christian ideals, and where great emphasis was placed on the supremacy of God over human beings in all affairs. The church was very powerful and tolerated little opposition. So rigid was the church that creative thought and new ideas in most fields of study were stifled. The reason that um, during the Renaissance, the classical past could be upheld as a model and that people, some people could consider that progress rather than going backwards is that <clears throat> in their view, their culture that they lived in, which is still enmeshed in, the, in, in what they saw as a dark age, dark culture, they thought everything had sunk to its lowest level and that classical civilization was much higher, so much better, so that returning to that was very much like climbing a peak. Like the Latin and Greek authors they studied, humanists sought the freedom to cultivate the mind and explore the world unfettered by church doctrines. They did not reject religion. In fact, many humanists were believers. What they objected to were the harsh rules imposed on them by the church. 